The following marketing information and discussion is provided for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as professional guidance or consultancy. You should find an agency for that. Comexis is a digital marketing agency, so feel free to hire us. But otherwise, just enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Buyer's Journey by Comexis, a discussion-based podcast on the ever-changing marketing landscape that affects how your customers and clients purchase, ultimately optimizing your marketing efforts. I'm Matthew McGrady, the social media content producer here at Comexis. I'm Len Moore, the managing partner of Comexis. And I'm Josh Lyons, the digital marketing coordinator here at Comexis. So today is Wednesday, and on Wednesdays we talk about the purchase phase of the buyer's journey. And in the purchase phase of the buyer's journey, for those of you who need a little refresher, that's when your potential customer, potential client is buying or purchasing your product or service. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. We're not going to get too much into that. But alongside uh, the purchase phase of the buyer's journey. One, one big player when we think about e-commerce is Amazon. And today we're talking about a nice article from Sarah Perez on Amazon Prime and allowing Amazon Prime users to choose what they call Amazon Day, which is a weekly delivery date for all of their packages. So two weeks ago, Amazon announced a delivery option for Prime members that will allow them to control when their order can arrive. So at checkout, you pick a day of the week and the boxes will arrive on your scheduled Amazon day in fewer boxes. So if you order something on Monday and Tuesday, and I, well, probably Wednesday as well, um, and you have your Amazon date set to Friday, everything you ordered from those three days will just arrive on Friday in as few as boxes as possible. Um, and then you can also choose whether or not you need something. If you have something, say, you order it on Monday, you need it by Wednesday, you can make sure that you get the two-day shipping, the free shipping, or pay for shipping one day, something like that. Um, so the goal here was to reduce the number of deliveries that drivers have to make to the same address uh, so that that's one big thing. The second is to reduce packaging. An initial test of this system reduced packaging by tens of thousands over the course of several months. Uh, this option is also part of Amazon's larger set of sustainability initiatives to focus on achieving, achieving what they call, quote, shipment zero, which is to make 50% of all Amazon shipments net zero carbon by 20. 30. Um, so I think that this is a particularly interesting um, feature for Amazon Prime. Personally, I probably won't use it because I don't use about 90% of the things that Amazon Prime <laughs> affords me um, as a member. Uh, also, I just like getting my packages as soon as possible. But I personally think that this is definitely something that's targeted to people who live in perhaps high theft package areas. If you live in the city, for example, um, say you have an apartment and it's harder for you to make sure that you get your packages arrived at a specific time or a specific day and in general if you know say you're not going to be there for a couple days and you want to make sure your packages arrive when you need them but you won't be home until Friday well you can get them all on Friday so what do you guys think about this it's a good thing can I be the downer like I've I would been, like I've been be all downer, week Len. go for it <laughs> all right so they're <laughs> shipment zero so they're trying to make 50% of all Amazon shipments net carbon zero this screams to me spending less money on cardboard, which means more money in earnings. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. So I'm just, yeah, it's better. a really <laughs> fancy way to say, here's how we're going to save money. It's going to go into the stock price. Um, it's definitely a good thing. So when you're looking at it from the purchase, and we actually said before the podcast, this definitely goes to purchase retention. Um, this is a really, really good way to keep people engaged with Amazon. Like Matt said, even if you're like in a high crime area where, well, you know, high theft area for this, um, it's just making this even more convenient for individuals to purchase off Amazon. And the number one thing in the purchase stage is how easy can I make the potential client or customer get to the checkout page or sign the, you know, sign the bottom line for the contract. So it's a great thing Amazon's doing, you know, let's take away the whole stock thing they're doing. Um, but it's, it's definitely keeping the, the customer engaged. And I think what it does is dovetails directly into the consideration stage where now I feel more comfortable my Amazon day will make it Wednesday and every day it's going to come in and that's kind of the way it is. So, I mean, if there's anybody in the world who's truly mastered the buyer's journey, it's Amazon. They own it. They actually should call it the Amazon journey. Um, so it's, it's strong. I like what they're doing. It's good. Yeah. I mean, I agree completely. Uh, the one thing like sort of to elaborate on the whole theft idea is when I was a student at Temple and I had my own apartment there, there were 
multiple times, whether it was whether it was through Amazon or maybe another shipping service. Um, when I have packages delivered to me, I've actually had many of them not be there when after they said it was there. So um, sometimes that was just a friend bringing it in. Sometimes there was actually a theft going on. So it's interesting because when I look back on it, it would be nice where not only can I pick the day, but I can make sure that it fits in my school schedule um, if I'm going home for a break or something. So now that's something that would be nice on a on a small scale for just an individual like me but but having that offered to anyone that's a prime member i think also dovetails into another reason for you to want to be a member of their subscription service so that's another reason why it it convinces members to, that aren't prime members to become prime members where now they have the ability to save their their th chance of theft of their product that they want shipped to them, um, you know, using Amazon Prime. So I think it's a it's, it, it works well with theft, but it also is another way for them to get more users on their Prime. You know who else this is good for? I was just thinking about this um, because as as the social media content producer and videographer, occasionally we have to buy expensive things that I need. Um, this is good for businesses. Yeah. Like I was like there there have Delivery been times day. Yeah, cuz yeah. there there have been times where I where you know we've ordered things and I'm like, "Oh man, I hope it arrives on Friday and not Saturday cuz nobody will be here on Saturday, right?" right? Um so I mean just wait, just wait, 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 what do you mean? You're not working on Saturday? No, I'm oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Lyle. <Lyle. laughs> no, no, you're right. I I think I think the business is it again, it's it's convenience. And the number one thing in the purchase stage is convenience. Are you offering Convenience. Are you saving an individual time? Is this something that makes their life better? And that's exactly what Amazon's hitting with this. I actually think, you know, again, it is it is a really good idea. It's it's something that'll work really well. So Yeah. And Amazon, please, I know I like to buy things on my personal Amazon Prime account. Stop telling me that I need to sign up for a business account because I buy electronics. <laughs> Every time. I'm like, I'm not a business, but I just, you know. I like electronics. Anyway, that's beside the point. Thank everybody for listening to our episode of The Buyer's Journey, to today's episode, rather. Check us out, please, on Comexus.com, YouTube, and anywhere you get your podcast, including to, but not limited by, no, including, but not limited to, rather, uh, the Apple iTunes Store and Spotify. And follow us on Twitter at Buyer's underscore Journey. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.